How long have you been in this position? Uh, 14 and a half months. Okay. Yes, I enjoy it, which is why I know almost to the day how long it's been. So but we're uh, very pleased with how things have gone so far, but I know that's not why you're here today. So. What you're wearing, what you uh, I got this suit via Tommy Tucker on North Grand. Uh, do you have like a particular uh, style that you often go for, the type of suit that you like? I would say style would just be uh, normal business style. Uh, style like kind of people who you like the way they dress, who you like their look. Well, I would say from a political standpoint, since this is Political Fashion Week on PubDef.net, that uh, the uh, elected official in the country that has had the most flair associated with his dress would be former Mayor Willie Brown, and that uh, he did uh, quite a bit of work, obviously, in California in the State House, and then as mayor in San Francisco, and uh, he had an exceptional style. To his uh, daily existence and he uh, contributed his suits from what I understand on an annual basis back to charity because he would buy so many. So he is I think at the top of any type of political fashion discussion even in retirement I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So one of the first people we interviewed with Fashion Week was uh, uh, your predecessor Greg Daly. I, I also like the way Mike McMillan dresses. I think Mike does a, a very good job, and uh, and Mike is always look always looks good. It was very kind of him, very kind of him. So I would say that the uh, list in my mind would include uh, him. Obviously, Greg uh, gets almost, if not all, of his suits and shirts custom made. I think from Seville Row and. Sam Cavato and um, Freeman Bosley Jr. when he was mayor was uh, someone who dressed very well and represented the city in a very dignified manner with his uh, professional appearance. And then I would add to that uh, currently uh, State Representative Rodney Hubbard. And uh, there have been others over the years. I never had the pleasure of uh, knowing him was not old enough, but uh, Mayor Savannah's had a reputation of being a very well appointed mayor. What's that ring there? This is the city seal. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. The seal of the city. Uh, it was made by Vincent's Jewelers at downtown before they moved, unfortunately, to West County. But he's still a very good corporate citizen involved in so much. And one day, I hope that he'll open at least a, a, another office in the city. There are certain places I shop more than others, no question. Uh, in the city, I would say it would be uh, Lee J's on Washington and Macy's downtown. And uh, beyond that would be uh, Sam Cavallo is my uh, favorite clothing store. How do you feel about fashion? How do you shop? Well, I just think that uh, in terms of government and business, and this office that specifically deals with the business community, that we have to make sure that we present both a professional appearance first and foremost, and then following that, more importantly, the actual professional service to the people that we are supposed to be helping. And uh, as I tell the people in the office, there's a quote by Earl Graves that I appreciate very much where he says, there is no business casual in the office because there is nothing casual about business. So we try to make sure that every day we have a professional appearance and then try to back it up with professional and courteous customer service and then responsive behavior as much as we possibly can.